You are in the Temple of the Rants, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patients want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one is for Wild Stag, who wants me to rant about iChannel slash Kizuna I, please. To be honest, I have not watched very much Kizuna I. Um, I think she has a great person, uh, great character design, um, entertaining, you know, sort of personality. I mean, she's basically just an idol. Um, but, like, they, they let her do you know, more more wacky, sort of goofy things because she's a cartoon character, which is nice. Um, but I, I just don't... I don't get anything out of it. Like, I don't really get the point. Um, you know, what I look for in art tends to be human connection. I want to consume art by people who, um, you know, are really putting their feelings into what they're doing and trying to represent their perspective. And either I want to, you know, come to understand somebody else's perspective and to, you know, broaden my, my understanding of the world, or I want to be able to relate to somebody by seeing how theirs compares to mine. You know, seeing people who are similar to myself but not quite the same and just kind of figuring out why they ended up like that while I ended up like this, you know, and like... Um, just hearing stories that that convey some kind of thematic idea or consuming it when, when it comes to YouTube content that um, speaks to me because it's like this is somebody who thinks similarly to myself but they're uh, consuming other things you know like maybe if I'm watching a, a game review it's like this person's not exactly like me but they're clearly have like a, a similar kind of worldview and mindset and when they talk about a game analytically it's like I, I get to compare notes with them about like why things are the way they are, you know, from the perspective of people like us. So to have a virtual idol who doesn't have any real set personality and is just kind of like, you know, written by someone else, um, I don't get anything out of that. You know, it's I, I guess it's cute. I guess it's kind of funny. It can be. It's not really the kind of stuff that would make me laugh or, I, I don't know. I haven't seen a ton of her videos, so I don't know if there's, you know, angles of it I'm missing out on. Um, I, 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 the whole virtual idol craze kind of, it doesn't do much for me. I mean, idols don't do much for me either. Like, I just don't really enjoy things that are built out of, like, a constructed identity, out of, like, a, a sort of corporate or marketable, like, not even saying that in a negative way, like... I think it's fine that you, that you can, you know, create like sort of an intellectual property that has its own universe, but if it doesn't feel to me like it's the product of someone's passion or someone's, you know, um, need to connect their worldview, then I can't really relate to it. I don't find any impact in it. So, yeah, I just haven't really had any interest in Keys in Eye, but... I have no problem with her either. I think it's cool that we live in a world where things like this are happening. So that's nice.